Hi, Facebook friends. I'm here to give you my demonstration of my demonstration speech. Have you ever been in an amusement park like Worlds of Fun or Disneyland and seen a caricature artist do a caricature of a park patron? I am a caricature artist and I have been for about 20 years now. You may have seen one done or know someone who has had one done. And I am here to show you how you can do it yourself. I'm going to show you everything from the, the process of how to assess your client, to doing the drawing, to managing your crowd. Now Paul Fell, who's probably Nebraska's most famous caricature artist, uh, who used to work as the editorial cartoonist for Lincoln Journal Star, told me on the phone that when he's assessing a client, he normally looks at the shape of the face and then picks a prominent feature to exaggerate, such as this. Now, for this demonstration, I will need a participant, and I have someone with me here. And uh, this lady, what's your name, young lady? Sarah. Sarah. <clears throat> and uh, I'm here to draw her, her picture. And I will start the way I normally do, with, uh, with her, uh, first I assess her face, and kind of get a general idea of what I'm doing here. And I normally start with the nose. Now, normally when I do this, I don't use a pen. I don't do it on large papers, so you have to bear with me here. Go ahead and face camera a little bit here. Now, Sarah, as I can see, has kind of a very triangular, I say maybe pointy nose. Don't take offense to this. <laughs> so I will just kind of sketch that out real quick here. Very simple. You don't want to spend a lot of time. It's huge. You don't want to spend a lot of time on each part. <clears throat> um, she, do you ever have a broken nose? No. Okay. <laughs> kind of a short nose to eye area here. Now, the next thing I go for is the eyes. Uh, Sarah has kind of almond shaped eyes, and I think it really stands out a whole lot here. Not that's a bad thing, but um. <laughs> and she has quite the lashes. And she's very blonde and has very light eyebrows. So I'm just going to scratch those in. Now, normally I do this, my patron will be looking at my drawing, and I'll have to bring their attention back to me and ask them to look me in the eye, which is kind of intimidating for the both of us. But most people want their pictures done smiling. Uh, so, Sarah, do you mean a big smile? Do I have food in my teeth? No, but as you see, and we discussed this earlier, Sarah's most prominent feature, I think, is probably her teeth. Next to her hair, but her teeth. <laughs> so, she ha what she has here, if you look at her top lip, it's very straight, almost over-the-top smile. So go ahead and give me a look here. And I'm going to give her, I'd say almost over-the-top, which means that it has a, an, an over-bow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and she has... And uh, not an overly large bottom lip, but it's decent. And very distinct smile lines. Okay, you're getting there. Now, the one thing I, I noticed about Sarah as well, if you look at her jawline, um, it's kind of a really square face and a quick taper. So I'm going to try to get that in there. Is this what you were talking about with the masculine versus feminine. I have a, <laughs> kind of a masculine, uh, wow, yeah. Yeah, very, 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 <laughs> very distinct, uh, how do you call that, jawline uh, there? Mandible? Mandible, mandible. Okay, now, <laughs> if she has, as far as long as I've known Sarah, she has, has had kind of a spiky do. And you're doing the spiky do tonight. Mm -hmm. So we're going to give you that spiky do. Do you have enough room? I probably should have been a lower in paper, but here we go. <laughs> So I'm going to emphasize that here, right here. Give her the big ears. And, not big ears. <laughs> and, and, and her, she doesn't have long hair in the back, but it kind of comes down over the ears here. Like that. So, and usually, usually I'm drawing in pencil, not in pen. So, but. Now, I think I overall got that. I'm going to kind of darken her eyes in a bit. 
Okay, now I'm going to put in just a general, all of my necks and bodies kind of look, look alike. I just kind of throw a little neck, shoulders, and then I give it a little signature. And it's like that. And if this was a post prom party, I would just hand to them, say have a nice evening, and go on. But normally I'm doing two at a time, so I gotta somehow fit two of these on the same piece of paper. While I have Sarah up, up here, some artists have difficulty uh, differentiating between male and female faces. And they kind of come off with what look, looks like a, let's just say, a drag queen. But uh, according to Tom Richmond, who is a caricature artist for Mad Magazine, he says on his website that there's certain things you can do to differentiate uh, a female, and they're pretty obvious, but I'll point them out. Most females have um, a, a more bushy, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, eyelash, eyelashes. More eyelashes, mm -hmm. a thinner brow, generally a smaller nose, uh, hers is much smaller than mine I think, lips which are more, more puffy, and normally a uh, more tapering jawline. And even though Sarah does have more distinct jowl, her chin does taper, taper down quite a bit. And like most females, you're going to find that their hairstyles vary greatly. Most guys when you're doing theirs, they're going to have, you know, this and a hat and drawing hats after a while gets a little boring. So, thank you. Okay. Um, the last part I want to talk about is the performance art part of the caricature business. During this part, when you're drawing somebody, you're normally going to draw a crowd behind you, which would be very intimidating if you have performance anxiety like I do. Because all you're going to think about is that they're looking at what you're doing and thinking you're screwing it all up. But nine times out of ten, they love what you're doing and they're getting more fun watching you than anything else. And that's good marketing, because the guy behind you is probably the one who's going to sit down next. If you're doing this for money, then that's the best bet. So in review, uh, when you're doing the caricatures, caricatures, look for the face in sections. I always go nose, eyes, mouth, uh, face, and hair, and it works out pretty good for me. So if you learn this, you, you too can do post-prom parties, uh, work at Rolls of Fun, and work on your friends and family and uh, you can make a little extra money as well. So thank you for watching this and have a good evening.